comes Petty right behind him. The Yarbrough crew puts a watch on him. A lap two and a half miles long takes only 50 seconds. You've got to hustle in those pits to keep a lead. Petty's stop is 17 seconds. But with slow down time in and out, here comes Yarbrough. He passes Petty to go into the same lap. This is last chance go for Yarbrough. If he can get around fast while Petty is getting up to speed, he may be able to put the pressure on him. Yarbrough runs flat out. Only 13 laps left. Richard Petty is pouring it on. Lee Petty watches as his son closes the gap. Yarbrough. He plants his foot on the accelerator for one of his incredible backstretch charges. Then he turns 185 miles an hour down the back straight. With only 11 laps to go, he closes the door on Yarbrough, takes back his full lap lead, and sets a new record for the fastest competition lap ever run anywhere, anytime. 176.817 miles per hour. Faster even than he qualified on an empty track. did it just in time, because here comes the rain. The cars send up spray as the pace slows under the caution light. No more records today. They're calling the race. The checker and Richard Petty roars through with a lap to spare. A hundred ninety-eight laps, four hundred ninety-five miles. Petty's 1966 Plymouth takes it all. Hale Yarborough is one lap back. Dave Pearson and Fred Lorenzen, two laps back. The Petty's, father and son, engineered the fastest Daytona ever run. The overall speed was 160.627 miles per hour, the fastest distance race ever run on any speedway. In two successive starts, in a heavy-powered, specially-prepared Plymouth,